Um, well, we were revisiting our estate planning and trying to decide. Uh, for, we did it like 25 years ago when we got married, so we needed to redo it. And it was a, it's a whole different world now than what it was then. And so we were trying to focus on what was the most significant. And for me, significant. For him, it was joyful. And so he picked the craft center and significant for me because I was the first person to go to college. And it obviously changed my life in a huge way. And it's been the most significant event next to me <laughs> <laughs> of my life was coming here and getting a degree. When I thought about what do I want to give back, it was to help some other underprivileged young person um, hopefully get a degree. Because Lisa's gift is an endowment and I didn't want mine to be that way. I wanted to, it to be a lump sum so that they could do something extravagant. So I, I wanted whoever was making future decisions to have that flexibility. And yeah. he gets so stressed out. All he does is he comes here and he comes home eight hours later and he is a different person. So it's really about quality of life. The Craft Center is a hidden gem here on campus and the Craft Center has been around over 54 years. So we are a very vibrant part of the community and love being a part of the community. The Terwilliger gift is significant. It's one of the largest in the Craft Center's history. So we are very, very appreciative. We're really at a great crossroads right now because we're really looking at the future and how we might incorporate digital media and new programming along those lines so that we can reach more students and at the same time preserve the heritage of traditional craft. Well, the arts at NC State are incredibly vibrant. I love the idea that any student in any major can participate in the arts. To me, the arts are what make us human. It's actually very rare that there's a setup like we have here at NC State. We find that there are any number of opportunities that students want to be able to take advantage of, and sometimes resources just aren't there. So by gaining some private support, we'll be able to create more opportunities that otherwise just simply wouldn't be available to the students. I've always said that I'd rather be talented than skilled. And uh, I've probably been coming here for 15 years, maybe even more. Even when we lived up on the Virginia border, I would come into town every once in a while just to make some sawdust. <laughs>